hey hello guys welcome back so in this video we will be solving another programming questions of uh, python okay using python okay which was asked in one of the interview so i have got this uh, question from a linkedin post so i thought to share with you how however i got uh, with a different approach okay the person who posted posted this uh, problem that was in a different uh, way but i tried to solve this using a optimistic way okay or using a different ways so let's see how i can do that or how we can do that okay so the question is to find whether the given number is narcissistic number or not so what does it mean is that see it is um, one number is given okay one six three four now what we will do the length of this number is four right so what they are doing they are actually they are actually uh, making a power of you know make i mean what they are doing they are doing the sum of the nth power of its digits okay so you can see one to the power 4 plus 6 to the power 4 then 3 to the power 4 and 4 to the power 4 now you can assume so see they have clearly mentioned you know by this example he has clearly mentioned that we have to use a iterator if you are very new right if you do not know anything then you can think hey how we can solve this problem simple problem is that if he has given like this so it means that we have to iterate it one by one first one then six then three and four so it means we can use here for loop or while loop so i will go with the for loop so i'll create one function f underscore uh let's say this name is very difficult right so let's say i just write here null sys something like that and here i can pass number cool now what i'll do since we have a number right so i can you know iterate it i i can iterate it print i cool and here i will call the function let's say one two three four this is the number so actually i am passing a number but this is this is also a number number cannot be iterable right so i have to change into a string cool let me do it one two three four we received very good since we have to iterate and we have to what we have to do we have to sum it right so i will use here first i will import a math library okay and here what i'll do i'll just you know make a make i mean initialize one variable called s is equal to zero and here what i will do s is equal to s plus what math dot P O W and here I have to pass this number I I means you know in the first iteration we receive one okay one goes over here and then to the power so to the power is the sum I mean uh, length of this uh, uh, number so number is fourth right I mean the length of the number is four right so what I can do I can uh, use len function str right and then we can use here number now you can see that in two places i am using str str two times it is it, it is changing the number right so it's better then you know i can create one number str variable and here i will change this to integer okay not integer str i will write here number cool let me just remove this and we can use number underscore str we can use number underscore str now it only hit this code one time okay not every time cool so s we can also optimize it like this cool it is done now what i can do i can return to s okay and here i can do a print of this now if i run this then you can see oh we receive an error must be a real number not str so not a string i right len of str what is an issue s plus math dot p o w i i is one s is equal to no something went wrong let me just you know debug it 
we'll see what is the problem one returns means the issue is here math.pw number string okay cool so i have to actually you know convert this into integer because it takes an integer we are passing here character cool let me remove, remove this print statement correct 3540 is it correct 3540 okay could be cool now the uh, the logic you know is that if the sum uh, if the sum of this should be equal to this then we can say yes this is the narcissistic number so here also i have to write one you know if else condition if s is equal to is equal to s is equal to is equal to number right then i can return yes otherwise else i can return no cool let me run this it returns no that's true if i just pass this value to the function then it returns yes that is true i hope you understood cool now this is the basic you know if you are very noob in python then you can try this approach otherwise we can also do in a different way so let's see how we can do cool so let me copy p this again now how i can do just think of it since we are using multiple iteration over here so i can you know make this i can copy this put it over here remove s not needed remove this i can you know make like make it like this and remove everything for now to just uh, to to just under understand the things okay and uh, let me just you know assign this to list of number something like that this variable and return return list underscore number so if i do this right and if i try to hit the button then you can see it returns this list right so why can't i use here sum i can use it 1634 which is true cool apart from this now i have to check if else condition why can't uh, can't i you know uh, use here if else yes we can use what i can do i can just write here if this sum is equal to is equal to what this number right so i can use this number if it is equal to then i can say then i can say that uh, uh, if it is matching then i can write here yes if it is not matching else i can print here no and yep yes yes even though you are you do not needed this right you can simply return it cool so this is kind of you know optimized way you know i mean both things are you know uh, equal but the thing is here we reduce multiple time uh, multiple lines right like here the problem has been solved via you know like i used 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 eight lines and here i have used only two lines even though you know i can change i can directly use this also you know instead of making this i can i i can use this okay mm so here i can use str number here also i can use str number and i can remove this i hope it will work let me run this okay now we solve this problem using one line only not you know seven to eight lines so this is the optimized way you know we can say so if you are learning python i must say that you you can visit to my course okay this is a paid course and you can see we have a uh, have five modules the language is in english you will also receive, receive a certification of completion right and lifetime access and already 81 learners have enrolled in it now 
if we talk about the curriculum or the table of content then you can you will learn python fundamental data structures object oriented programming algorithms file handling and exception handling now if i go to the modules then you can see we have we covered till now 17 to 18 hours of content right and here we will see what is uh, how we can install python set up everything then we will learn about base basic of python right and then if even though you can you know you can preview this video also it is free of cost you can go and check out this video and if you understand properly then you can you know enroll in this course apart from this you can see in the module 2 we have pre request for data structure and algorithms 14 attachments are here right like we covered stack qt everything we have covered you know for data engineering purpose then we have problem solving with data structure and logarithm you can see like we have covered uh, as of as, as of now we have covered you know eight problems but we will be covering two three four more problems also in coming days now all these problems are related to the uh, to the uh, problems which have been asked in the interviews okay like two some approach here we uh, like uh, two some approaches I you know two so we, and here we have seen we, we have we have uh, told you three approaches you know using array hashing and other stuff here also you know we have we have told you about for three uh, three approaches likewise we also used a stack you know to solve the problem using stack then binary search recursion array partitioning and so on so on then in module 4 we will be covering a real time scenario framework in data engineering we will we will tell you how we can write a optimistic and productionalized code in the in the production using using python like we will use it there try accept class object concept modular programming and other, other, other stuff okay we will be creating i guess two or three videos on a different architecture or different you know different uh, 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 ut utility or we can say framework and we will try to tell you that you know if you are writing a code in your company which has to be go to the production then this is the way to write it okay i hope that you have understood and please subscribe to my channel if you are liking it and share with your friends if you are understanding something new from my channel thank you bye bye